that if I lived in Malaysia, I would be eating that like all the time. I know, right? <laughs> You're looking at me. She knows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll see you in two weeks. You be a good girl. You got daddy at home for a week. Then you're gonna have a big play day. Yeah? Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So I am in, where am I? Narita Airport. Yeah, it's early in the morning for me. So I am actually flying back to Australia because I'm going on a work trip with Sony. I'll be going to the Gold Coast for the very first time. So I'm very excited about that. But uh, because it is a long trip, I decided to make a stopover. So I'm going to fly to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia first to see my friend and I'm going to just hang out with her for a couple of days. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be my first time in Malaysia as well. So yeah, there's um, a lot I want to do, mainly eat, but mainly just to enjoy time with my friends because we used to live in the same apartment building in Sydney. Well, mainly she was living there first and then we were really close to her Eric and I wanted to live in the same building so we can hang out more often so yeah that was really fun and I really miss her but then obviously Eric and I moved to Japan but then she has moved to Malaysia so then it makes it a bit easier to visit at least because flying from Japan to Malaysia is much closer so yeah gonna be doing that for a couple of days and then I'm going to be heading to Sydney for only one day before I head off to the Gold Coast for the Sony trip and then after that I am flying back to Perth for a couple of days to sort out my luggage because Eric and I have decided we are going to be staying in Japan I don't know how long but like possibly long term which means we need to remove all that stuff from storage in Sydney which we did and then we shipped it to Perth so we have to go through it see what we want to keep see what we want to sell see what we want to ship back to Japan so yeah um, I have about 25 minutes before I need to board so I think I'm actually gonna leave the lounge and then do some souvenir shopping for my friend Royce chocolate let me get some for my friend what is a limited peach version? Ooh. We will start with in a cargo compartment.
I have made it to Malaysia and I'm staying at my friend's place. She set up this bed for me. I'm gonna have such a good sleep tonight. This room is huge. And then in the bathroom, she's so cute. She bought all the necessities I needed. So toothpaste, toothbrush, tampons, cause I'm on my period right now. And like just everything, like she's amazing. So I'm going to quickly get changed into some shorts cause we're gonna go out to have dinner in Chinatown tonight. So let's go. I just changed into some shorts because it's so hot in Malaysia. But also, you guys might think this is familiar, but I asked my friend if I can ship these bags to her place because the shop only ships to Taiwan, China, US, and Malaysia. So because I couldn't ship it to Australia or Japan, I asked my friend if I can ship it to Malaysia. And the story is when we first got Hina, our friend gave us this bag and I love it. I use it all the time. I've used it for like three years. That's why I wanted to get another one. So I got the same bag and then I saw this one. How cute is this? Shiba Inus. So yeah. Finally got them! Yay! I'll put them in my suitcase. So my mouth is kind of on fire right now. Oh, oh that's good. You know where? Mm. So good. Like I like the flavor in it. It got okra in it too. I am back at my friend's place and it's like 1am right now so I'm gonna quickly shower and sleep because we have an early morning tomorrow. I only have two more days in Kuala Lumpur because initially I was going to fly straight from Tokyo to Sydney, spend a few days in Sydney to sort out our you know storage situation because Eric and I have stored a lot of furniture and boxes of like I don't know, clothes and just random stuff that we didn't want to bring to Japan. but. Now that we have decided we are going to stay in Japan, possibly long term, there's no point storing all this furniture anymore. So we're going to try and sort all that out. But we managed to ship that all to Perth. So we're going to deal with that in Perth later on, like next week. But 
Because I had to go back to Australia for a Sony trip, when I was looking at flights, there was a stopover in Malaysia. And I was like, well, if there's a stopover, I might as well just stay a few extra days to see my friends before I go back to Australia. So I took a flight at 11 a.m. this morning from Tokyo, and then I landed in Kuala Lumpur around 6 p.m. My friend picked me up, took me to her beautiful place, and then we went out to dinner. Oh my gosh, the food was so good. Like I am so excited to try out as much food as I can here, just because, you know, in Japan, of course Japanese food is amazing there, but when it comes to other cuisines, I'm gonna be real with you guys, it's not so good. Vietnamese food is absolutely rubbish in Japan. I'll tell you that, it's, it's just not good. And I don't think I've had Malaysian food in Japan before but yeah you know what like basically it's really hard to find other authentic cuisines in Japan because it's like made for the Japanese taste buds so having dinner today oh my gosh it was so good the food was like spicy but it was amazing the flavors and ah, I loved it and then we went to walk around the area then we also went to a bar to get a nice view of the Twin Towers and ah, it was so nice so yeah it's 1 a.m. now so I'm gonna quickly go shower and go to bed because tomorrow we're gonna start at 8 a.m. so I'm gonna have to wake up early so I'll see you guys tomorrow I just had an accident and fell over uh, uh, because I'm very clumsy and there's a lot of like you know ledges in Malaysia um, yeah I fell over we are at the Chinatown and we are waiting for breakfast but it's like a half an hour wait but we really need coffee so we're at another place first just to get coffee and then we're gonna go back to the place that we have a ticket for this is kind of like Vietnam they did this as well oh, yeah Mm, it's good. Mm. Yeah. It's good. It's yeah. I like it. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit sour. Mm, I like it. <laughs> and the coffee is good too. Mm. <laughs> this is what I needed. I'm so glad you like the food. Kaya toast. That's ridiculous. That's so much cheaper. So this is like in Australian dollars, like a dollar. That's crazy. Double. Okay. I'll regret it later, maybe, but like for now. And then the egg. Mmm. That's good. We can't even have the other. Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. It's like it reminds me of the laksa oh, yeah? soup. Um, this is a double. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. Butter, yes. I'm so full. I ate so much. Oh my gosh, my pants are so tight. But it was so good. We ordered the double kaya toast because when I order in Japan, it's always like, it's really small. So I assumed it was going to be small, but it was huge. But it was so good. I had to eat or eat everything. And those noodles I really love. This is the building from Crazy Rich Asians, the grandma's house, he said. But like, it's closed, it's abandoned, well not abandoned, it's like, it's just closed for now. So, it used to be a hotel, then it was a museum, but now it's closed. Okay, but we just wanted to see it. That's a shame. Yeah. But it's cool. This is really cute. There's a cat toy. Oh, it's a cat toy. It's so cute, it's a little cloud. I might get her this. She loves like flat, crinkly, squeaky things. Does it squeak? Oh yeah, it does. There we go.
I am finally back. It's like 3 a.m. So we decided to go and party tonight. So where do we go? Okay, so first up in the morning, let me just, you know, run down what happened because I was vlogging, but I didn't really talk much to you guys. But okay, we woke up early, I got ready, and then I went out to breakfast with my friend. We were in Chinatown. And okay, yesterday, my friend warned me, she's like in Malaysia, there's a lot of ledges. And I'm super clumsy that already in Tokyo, even though most of the floor is pretty flat, I have fallen over many times. So because my friends all know I'm clumsy, she warned me. So in my mind, I had my handbag on my arm and my camera in my hand. I was like, okay, save the camera. So I kind of like yelled out and then my friend turned around. She sees me on the floor. My arm is like on the floor with my handbag and then I've got my arm up with my camera. So my camera was saved, it was fine. So yeah, it was just really funny that that happened. Um, but yeah, we had breakfast and it was so good. Ah, oh, the food in Malaysia, I just can't. It's just amazing. So flavorful. And I wish that, if you guys have any recommendations for like Malaysian food in Tokyo, please let me know because I don't know any restaurants. But yeah, it was good. Then we just like walked around malls and then just chilled out, um, had lunch. And my friend introduced me to all of her friends. So yeah, it was just a really nice time. I've met so many people. And yeah, for dinner tonight, what did we do? Oh, we went to this really nice like French Italian fine dining restaurant. That's why we all dressed up and then yeah After that we just went to a bar then we went to a club and now we're back home Anyway, I'm gonna shower and sleep because tomorrow is actually my last day in Malaysia I feel like next time when I come back to Malaysia I want to spend maybe like a week here because it's, it's just so much to do so much to see and Because I'm only here for like two and a half days I couldn't really squeeze everything into those two days, so I'll come back for sure. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go to bed because it's 3am and I'm gonna try and wake up early-ish so I can pack my bags. I was thinking about packing tonight but it's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna shower and sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go downstairs and have breakfast with my friend and her family. I'm just gonna bring my laptop down as well because I've got some work I have to get done. So yeah, it's such a short trip, but I still have a full day ahead of me because I'm not flying until 11.45 p.m. So pretty much the whole entire day until I have to go back to Sydney. So I'm gonna try and enjoy the final day in Malaysia, but I'll definitely be back because I had so much fun here. So I am at Tunin Hill. This is actually my friend's cafe. They are tea merchants and they have a cafe just based on tea. You can taste different types of Chinese tea here and also they have delicious brunch. So we're gonna head inside and have lunch.
I never had peanut butter in, in a side bowl before. Mm, yeah. Actually, it works so well. Yeah. Yeah, that's our uh, most popular, our most popular breakfast. Mm. I love these. So I used to eat these all the time whenever we go and eat crab. We are going to get roti tichi. Wow. I lived in Malaysia, I would be eating that like all the time. I know, right? <laughs> you know, next time I'll bring you to Roti Bomb. There's another one. Really? Oh. Uh, it's like this, but a very big day. My last meal. <laughs> I'm so tired, but this is my last meal. In Malaysia, thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Big <Beware of> steps. <laughs> And the third one? Uh, oh. Thank you. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. yeah, perfect. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get um, sesame sauce. I have very simple taste, just sesame <laughs> and peanuts in my sauce. Lagana. Oh, I got lagana too. maybe a bit later but I pretty much got to the airport like one hour before my flight but I made it onto the plane and I'm going to Sydney Thank you. 
Average briefing all right. If required, life vests can be found here. Tear the pouch and remove. Mess. I landed in Sydney. I am now going to call the bus to go to my hotel. Just have to change my payment method to my Australian cards because the yen is so low right now. Alright, guys, I'm in my hotel room in Sydney. So I thought I'll just catch you guys up on what happened yesterday because man it was tight so I flew from Malaysia to Sydney or KL to Sydney last night and I got to the airport like one hour before my flight the KL traffic was really bad going to the airport and yeah luckily it was all good I managed to check in I was able to board my flight so everything is good in the end but yeah, what happened was my friends took me around yesterday just sightseeing. We had like a late start and then we had dinner. Then we just kind of like lost track of time. We had to go back to my friend's place to get my luggage and I, I needed to change because it's cold in Australia right now. It's winter. In um, Malaysia, it was really hot. So I had to change and then got to the airport and I was rushing. So I checked in my luggage fine, but then the gate was really far away. I had to take the bus to the gate and I was just running around so I was like full of sweat. I couldn't shower yesterday so that's why I'm going to shower first before I head out. I had to buy a sim card because I left my sim card in Japan unfortunately. Eric is going to bring my sim card though because he's coming to Australia next week. I'm going on a work trip first for four days with Sony. So after that I'm flying to Perth so Eric is going to meet me in Perth and yeah he's going to bring my sim card and also we have so much stuff to sort out because of all the things that we stored originally in Sydney. We managed to ship the whole container to Perth to sort everything out because we decided we're going to be staying in Japan, possibly long term. So we have to just, yeah, see what we want to keep, see what furniture we want to let go of. So, yeah. After this, I want to go to the CBD to do some shopping. I don't really have anything in particular I want to buy, but I want to look at some of the clothing stores in David Jones and Myers. And yeah, from there, I'm going to go to my friend's place to just catch up because you haven't seen them in a while. And then, yeah, head back to my hotel early because I need to sleep. I have not been sleeping the past few days. Like, I've been only sleeping like four or five hours a day, so I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm going to go shower, wash my hair because it's disgusting. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Just before I shower, I thought I'd give you guys a quick room tour. I'm staying at the Stamford Hotel. It's like right next to the... Sydney domestic airport because I'm flying early tomorrow and I just wanted to stay somewhere close so I can just get to the airport quickly to check in. This is the hallway and this is the bathroom. So we've got some amenities just like some soap and then we've got shampoo, body cream, body wash, conditioner. I need to buy some toothpaste because in Australian hotels they don't give toothbrushes and toothpaste. I have my toothbrush, but yeah, just gonna buy some toothpaste for tonight. Then here's the shower, and then this is the room. As you can see, okay, sorry, ignore my luggage. It's huge compared to Japanese hotels. There's so much room in Australia. We've got some coffee, tea, kettle, and bottle of wine, which I'm pretty sure we have to pay for. 
yeah, like $45 for a bottle. So, um, yeah, nah, not true. All right, it is now 3 p.m. So I feel like I should head down to the CBD because I realized it's Australia and shops close at like 5 p.m. So I'm gonna head to David Jones first and just walk around. I might drop by Sephora just to see if there's any makeup I wanna pick up because, well, in Japan, it's hard to find Western makeup and I mean, look, I do prefer Western makeup these days, uh, but just, you know, have a look and see what's available there. Because, okay, back when I was living in Sydney, I used to get a lot of PR from, you know, Western brands, but because I'm in Japan now, I don't get it anymore. So yeah, just thought I'd go check it out, see if there's anything that I want to try. Love the foundation from this brand. I got the dress from Chic. Fun fact guys, I used to live in that building. I'm waiting to get picked up now to go to my friend's place. But yeah, when Eric and I first moved to Sydney, we decided to live right in the middle of the city. I'm back in my hotel room and I didn't film when I was at my friend's place just because I was spending time with them and also their kids so yeah I didn't really want to film any of that for privacy reasons but now that I'm back in the hotel okay I ate a lot of food they cooked dinner and it was amazing I ate so much but I I eat a lot at night time and it's really bad I know but I'm kind of on holiday right now so it's kind of justified so okay I usually eat dinner then I like eating a second dinner when it's closer to midnight and it's bad but I'm really hungry and I want to sleep early and I know if I'm hungry I'm not gonna be able to sleep so I'm craving sausage rolls I found this on uber eats there's a bunch of sausage rolls I can buy so I'm gonna get a king size in about you know 10 to 15 minutes okay anyways I wanted to like rant a little bit so I got to the city and I was walking around I noticed it had changed quite a bit so bear in mind I have not been to Sydney for almost two years since I moved away wait oh something sold out oh no the meat pie is sold out mm, can I switch to something else this is so annoying I put in an order on Uber Eats and my order got cancelled because they couldn't deliver the stuff so I put in another order hopefully I put in an order at 7-eleven for some beef pies and I just wanted sausage roll I couldn't get the normal sausage roll I usually get so I just got a beef bacon and cheese sausage roll I'm just really craving like sausage rolls and meat pies right now guys anyway so I went to the CBD and this is not me complaining about the city at all things change all the time and of course because i live in japan things have changed for me the way i see things is different so i was quite shocked to be honest to go into the city and kind of like experiencing the attitudes of sales staff in australia compared to japan like i found it so hard to just get some help in sephora so you know i was standing around for quite a while i couldn't find any stuff that could help me so then i ended up just not buying what i wanted to buy i ended up buying um a oh, let me show you guys i got a blush from rare beauty but i really wanted to pick up a foundation so i wanted someone to help swatch me but yeah like i just couldn't find stuff that was able to do that so in the end i just ended up not buying anything um except for this then I went and got a new dress for the Sony event so I ended up going to Chic. I did go to a bunch of other stores but I didn't find anything that I liked because I don't know, I'm just really picky with my clothing and a lot of sizes in Australia don't really fit me very well and something else I realized I don't know if it's just me but I feel like the uber prices have increased dramatically 
it was so expensive to get to this hotel. I remembered that it took less than 10 minutes and it was $20. And then going to the city was like $40. And then going to my friend's house was another $20. Then coming back here was like another $40. I was like, I spent so much money on Ubers today. I don't remember it being this expensive. Um, but anyway, like my friends did tell me things have increased a lot in price in Sydney. So maybe it's that. Anyway, guys, um, my Uber order is probably going to be done in like hmm, 20 minutes, I guess. So I think I'm just going to keep working. My food has arrived from 7-Eleven Australia. I actually have never ordered food from 7-Eleven in Australia before, but I got the beef, bacon and cheese sausage roll. I really wanted just a normal one, but they didn't have it. Um, then I also got a beef pie. And then I actually ordered some mac and cheese bites, but they didn't have it. So they gave me spinach and ricotta roll instead. This is a lot of food and it's 11 p.m. But you know what guys? I'm on holiday, so I'm gonna eat. All right, I'm gonna eat the sausage roll first. I miss Australian food so much. <sighs> All right guys, I am very satisfied. Finished my sausage rolls and meat pies. I am going to pass out now. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had such a great time in Malaysia. I'll definitely go back and yeah, my one and only day in Sydney is also over. I'm flying to the Gold Coast tomorrow. So yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be back in Sydney because, you know, um, I came back this time around just because I need to go to the Gold Coast and it was just easier to fly back to Sydney. But we'll see, like, if we ever move back to Australia, it's going to be Sydney. So yeah, we'll be back one day. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you guys in the next video when I go to the Gold Coast. Bye, guys.